Hello Mila, hello Jack, hello everybody else who's watching and welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from the Little Men and Little Misses and it is Little Miss Trouble. Here comes trouble, people used to say, and who do you think would come walking along? That's right, Little Miss Trouble. Oh, the trouble she caused. One morning she went to see Mr Uppity. Do you know what Mr Small calls you behind your back? she asked him. No, replied Mr Uppity. What does Mr Small call me behind my back? Little Miss Trouble looked at him. Fatty, she said. Now Mr Uppity didn't like that, not at all, not one little bit. He went round immediately to see Mr Small. How dare you call me Fatty, he shouted. But stammered Mr. Small, who had never called him Fatty. But, but nothing, shouted Mr. Uppity. And he hit poor Mr. Small. Ouch! And he gave him a black eye. Poor Mr. Small. Little Miss Trouble, who was hiding behind a tree, hugged herself with glee. Oh, I do like making trouble, she giggled to herself. Naughty girl. Little Miss Trouble went to see Mr Clever. Do you know what Mr Small calls you behind your back? she asked him. No, replied Mr Clever. Tell me, what does Mr Small call me behind my back? Little Miss Trouble looked at him. Big nose, she said. Now, Mr Clever didn't like that very much either. Off he rushed, and when he found Mr Small, without waiting for an explanation, he punched him hard in the other eye. Poor Mr. Small. Two black eyes for something he'd never done. Oh, look at you, Miss Trouble laughed when she saw him. It's all your fault, said Mr. Small. True, she said, and walked off. Poor Mr. Small had to go to the doctor. Good heavens, exclaimed Dr. Makewell when he saw him. Whatever happened to you? Mr. Small explained. I think, Dr. Makewell said, when he'd heard what Mr. Small had to tell him, that something should be done about that little lady. What she needs is... Then he stopped and he chuckled. That's it, he laughed. What's it? asked Mr. Small. And Dr. Makewell whispered something to Mr. Small. Would you like to know what he whispered? Not telling you, it's a secret. That afternoon, Mr Small went to see Mr Tickle. Do you know what Miss Trouble calls you behind your back? he asked. No, said Mr Tickle. What does Miss Trouble call me behind my back? Mr Small looked at him. Pudding face, he said. Then Mr Small went to see Mr Bump. Do you know what Miss Trouble calls you behind your back? he asked. No, said Mr Bump. What does Miss Trouble call me behind my back? Mr Small looked at him. Mr Nitwit, he said. Little Miss Trouble was in trouble. How dare you call me Pudding Face, cried Mr Tickle, and tickled her. How dare you call me Mr Nitwit, cried Mr Bump, and bumped her. Now, I don't know whether you've ever been tickled and bumped at the same time, but it's not much fun. In fact, it's no fun at all. Tickle, bump, tickle, bump, tickle, bump, tickle, bump, tickle, bump. For ten minutes. And ten minutes of tickle bumping is a long time, I can tell you. Later that evening, Dr Makewell strolled round to see Mr Small. How are the eyes? he asked. Oh, much better now, thank you, replied Mr Small. And did our little plan work? asked the doctor. It did indeed, grinned Mr Small. Shake, said Dr Makewell, and they shook hands. Well, not quite hands. Dr Makewell then strolled round to see Miss Trouble. She was feeling very sorry for herself. What's wrong with you? he asked her. 
and she told him all about it, all about everything. Dr. Mcuell looked at her. Cheer up, he said. You know what you've just had, don't you? Little Miss Trouble shook her head. A taste of your own medicine, he chuckled, and went home for supper. The end. Goodbye, Mila. Goodbye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.